their side of the ball, you know. Do a little bit of everything, defensive end, <laughs> linebacker, this man here. I've seen you play just about every position. So, I mean, y'all are setting a trend here. I mean, this is new. Arizona hasn't come into Louisiana before and, and made a splash like this. As uh, Lopez just alluded to, there's five guys coming yeah. from the state this year. I've almost had six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Almost <laughs> at six. <laughs> yeah. I mean, do you see this as an opportunity to kind of show the West Coast and bring a new flavor over to the West Coast? And we'll start with you, Kendall. Uh, yeah, I believe I believe there's no other state in the country with talent like Louisiana. So, but all us Louisiana guys going up to the West Coast, I think we're just going to dominate, take over every aspect of the game. Have you guys talked to the, to the Shreveport guys about, about what you need to bring out there? Oh yeah, me, Orlando, his um, son, and uh, Antonio. We all we all close guys, you know. We in a group message together. Uh, we <laughs> see that a lot, actually, more than people would think. So, yeah, we talk about it a lot and how we gonna just go out there and take over. Now, DJ, your recruitment, I'd hate to say it was frustrating because I think it takes away from what you experienced. Yeah. You know, I mean, I sat back many times wondering, you know, what is it? Why are schools so reluctant at this point? I mean, you had proven it at such a high level. When you watch your film, you, you know, you're dynamic. I got to see you in a camp circuit. I've never seen you perform badly. How frustrating was it that things didn't seem to take off the way that you had hoped and probably felt you deserved? Uh, it's kind of frustrating, but, you know, it's kind of like a business. And you know, a lot of schools came looked at me. And, you know, I really, I really didn't feel like I wanted to commit at the time, so they really backed off. But I feel like I'm good while I'm at Arizona Wildcats. You know, they love me out there. I feel like I can go out there and make a great impact on the um, school, and I feel like I can bring a different flavor to the receivers. You know, show them how we get down to New Orleans. So you know, I like going on the West Coast. Now you're versatile. You can play corner and receiver. I know they recruited yeah. you as a receiver. If it's hard to crack the lineup, get on the field. If the depth in front of you, are you going to see, do you see yourself going to the coaching staff saying, hey, give me a shot on the other side of the ball? I mean, are you just as comfortable playing on defense as you are on offense? Uh, yeah, uh, I play DB when I feel like they need me or when I feel like the DB's not, you know, done as they're supposed to. I feel like I'd get a shot, you know, to, to bring the game up, you know, to do good on that defense. You know, talk about, I mean, I know there's some players in, in Louisiana who have talked about that the passing offenses of the Pac-12 and how you know they want to go and play out there. How much of you know you come from a, a, a wide open offense at Easton? How much did that play a factor in, in wanting to go to Arizona? Oh yeah, I played a great big factor. You know, watching as I went on my visit, the coach you know drew drew up the um, offense and it was spread and he asked me you know the defense that I like to run against. You know how our offense was performed. And, you know, it was kind of the same, you know, being in the slot, and, you know, it's going to be open for the next two years. Well, when I get there, it's not. So, you know, it, it played a, a great role in my cocoon process. Kendall, I mean, we talked about uh, about his versatility on offense and defense. You, you can move all around on the defense in that front seven. Where have they talked to you about uh, where you're going to play next year, you know, for the rest of your, uh, your college career? Uh, talking, talking to Coach McGee, talking to Coach Richard Ryan, Coach Castile. They're gonna use me as a strictly Sam linebacker. You know, send me on out of blitzes, let me drop back and coverage a little bit. They just put me in position to make plays to where Scooby Wright don't have to do it all by itself anymore. <laughs> so they just want me and Scooby to just gel together. You know, they're gonna send us on cross blitzes and all type of stuff. Just put us in position to make sacks, make big hits and catch interceptions. Real quick, guys, I mean, be honest. Who's the best recruiting analyst you know? Uh, Jimmy don't Smith. be shy. Don't be shy. Hey, Jimmy, Jimmy Smith, Smith, man. Hey, I'll take it. I'll take <laughs> it. Seriously, guys, uh, congratulations on everything. Good luck out there on the West Coast. And when y'all come home, give me a call. I want to I wanna <laughs> make sure we stay in touch. But right, cool. yes, DJ Clark, Kendall Franklin, two of Warren Easton's best, heading to Arizona.